Picture yourself floating through space during a casual spacewalk when suddenly your trusty helmet decides to take a vacation. Instead of freaking out and gasping for your last breath, you take in a lungful of fresh cosmic air. Now, let's dive into the mind-boggling consequences of a breathable outer space. On our cozy planet Earth, the air we breathe consists mostly of nitrogen and oxygen, with a smattering of other gases to keep things interesting. But beyond our atmosphere's 6,214 mile reach, molecular oxygen becomes as rare as a unicorn in a tuxedo. With an expanded atmosphere enveloping space, you'd be strapping on your space boots and jetting off to any corner of the universe, all the while breathing as easy as you do back home. Prepare your eardrums for a symphony of cosmic proportions. In the vacuum of space, sound waves can't travel because there's a serious lack of molecules to carry those groovy vibrations. Yet, in our newfound space atmosphere, the sound would have a field day, traveling far and wide. Get ready to tune into the sun and the other celestial crooners. The sun, in all its glory, would be rocking out with constant vibrations that would make your head spin. It would sound like attending a never-ending concert, where the sun's tunes hit your ears at a staggering 125 decibels, which is louder than a thousand police sirens. In the absence of friction, planets and moons gracefully orbit the sun without losing speed. However, with the introduction of all that breathable air, things would take a wild turn. Planets and moons would be zooming through the atmosphere at super high speeds, resulting in some serious collisions with those pesky air particles. Brace yourself because Earth would suffer the same fiery fate as those ill-fated asteroids entering our planet's atmosphere. Scorched surfaces all around. That's definitely not the kind of barbecue we were hoping for. And if that wasn't enough chaos for one day, get ready for the grand finale. Eventually, the moon would halt its celestial dance and come to a standstill, only to be pulled closer by Earth's gravitational force. This cosmic tango would lead to a catastrophic collision that could potentially kiss our beloved planet goodbye. Not to mention the rest of the solar system wouldn't be throwing a victory party either. All that air would wreak havoc, turning our peaceful solar system into a menacing black hole. The air would bring about a hefty mass, roughly 5 billion times greater than the sun itself, spanning a mind-boggling radius of 90 astronomical units. If the sun's gravitational pull decided to play tug-of-war with this colossal mass, the solar system would start to feel the squeeze. Compression madness. In the end, we might witness the birth of a black hole, a monstrous entity 1,200 times more massive than the supermassive black hole sitting in the heart of the Milky Way. By this point, you and I would have to bid farewell to the mortal realm long ago, and it's probably for the best. The showdown between these two gravitational behemoths would be the stuff of legends. But alas, that's a tale for another day. In our hypothetical situation, there's more than one option. When we introduce matter or atmosphere into the equation, the delicate balance between Earth's surface temperature and its surroundings gets a good shakeup. We have some air to breathe right here on good old planet Earth, thanks to our trusty atmosphere. However, due to the greenhouse effect, this air of ours actually warms things up a bit compared to a hypothetical scenario without an atmosphere, on average that is. You see, planets without an atmosphere might have lower average temperatures, but their temperature roller coaster is wilder, resulting in higher maximum temperatures. Okay, let's step away from our cozy Earth for a moment and ponder. What would happen if the entire solar system was filled with air? We'll temporarily ignore the small detail that Earth's movement would slow down, and we'd end up having a toasty rendezvous with the sun. It's a hypothetical situation after all. Now, predicting the outcome of such a scenario is like trying to decipher a Rubik's Cube blindfolded. On the other hand, you might think that air could reduce heat transfer by blocking light, leading to lower temperatures. It could increase heat transfer due to its insulating properties, which aren't as effective as a vacuum. This has nothing to do with the light energy transfer, but instead revolves around energy transfer through convection. 
Now, imagine a thick atmosphere sprawling throughout the entire solar system. It's like a cosmic security blanket, insulating the outward heat energy transfer from the sun and potentially lowering temperatures on Earth. Here's another nugget of cosmic trivia. Stars boast a convective zone on the outside and a radiative zone on the inside. It means that conduction, or rather advection, is just as important as radiation. So introducing an extra layer of air might improve this conduction gain. Yet the workings of extending the atmosphere and introducing gas into the solar system remain a cosmic enigma. Some stars out there rock an extended atmosphere. This atmosphere tends to be chilly due to dust gobbling up stars' radiation. It's like a condensation party zone where molecules can hang out and have a blast. But these stars also have some size to them, reaching as far as Earth's orbit. And at Earth's orbit, things would get steamy. Next up on this wild cosmic roller coaster, the moon decides to take a leisure break and comes to a complete stop. Oh boy, that's when things really go off the rails. Earth's gravity pulls the moon closer and closer, leading to an epic collision of cosmic proportions. Buckle up, my friend, because surviving scorching heat would only be the beginning of the end for our poor planet. It would be ripped apart, and the rest of the solar system would also go through some tough times, especially with all that air in the mix. In fact, brace yourself for a mind-blowing twist. Our once harmonious solar system could morph into a cosmic black hole. Why, you ask? Well, it's all because of the massive amount of air we'd have floating around. This air has weight, my friend, and with the heliosphere stretching a whopping 90 astronomical units, we're talking about a whole lot of mass, roughly 5 billion times more than the mighty sun itself. Now, if the sun's gravitational pull decided to gather all that mass and compress it, the solar system would become denser than a crowded interstellar party. Imagine squeezing all that air into a space about 80% of Earth's diameter. Dude, you'd witness the birth of a black hole right in front of your eyes. But let's be real here. Surviving that mind-boggling scenario is about as likely as finding a unicorn riding a flying saucer. So, fasten your seatbelt and enjoy the cosmic spectacle from the comfort of your imagination. For this journey through the bizarre reaches of the universe is nothing short of an electrifying adventure. In the end, we're left with more questions than answers. The intricate dance between air, heat, and the vastness of space remains an elusive puzzle. It's a game where the rules are yet to be discovered. So, let your imagination run wild and keep on pondering the wonders of the cosmos. If I were an astronaut and discovered that we could breathe in space, I would work with my crewmates and mission control to establish protocols and safety measures for operating in this newfound environment. Although, breathable air would eliminate the need for spacesuits, other potential hazards might still exist, such as temperature extremes or radiation, which would require appropriate precautions. Then, I would examine if the air was abundant and sustainable. Plus, I would explore ways to utilize it for various purposes, such as oxygen generation, atmosphere regulation in spacecraft, or even potential fuel production for long-duration missions. And what would you do in such a situation?